Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about arm aiming and if you should be an arm aimer or not. So what I mean by arm aiming is that people like to aim with their arm like this or people like to aim with their wrist. So an analogy that I like to give is that say if you had a pistol it's a lot faster to aim with your wrist just like this right but it's not as accurate as say if you had a rifle. Right? If you're moving your entire arm, you've got this straight line from your fingers to your elbows. You can aim a lot and more accurately, but it's a little bit slower. So one thing I need to make clear is that everyone uses their wrist to aim, but some prefer their full forearm to aim and using their wrist minimally, while some just like to use only their wrist. So what determines if you should be an arm aimer? Well, there are several factors. The first factor is your game of choice. If you play a game like Fortnite or Overwatch with a lot of verticality, where you have to aim up and down, you see if you have to aim up and down, you have to use your arm. You can't use your wrist. Your wrist is just for left and right movement. So if you have to aim you know, to the sky, you have to look down and clear angles be below you, you have to use your arm. Second thing is your sensitivity. If you have low sensitivity, you have to use your arm, right? Because you just don't have enough space. If you have high sensitivity, you can get away with using just your wrist. The third thing is your play style. Let's say if you're an entry player and you have to clear a lot of angles to the left and right, you have to use more mouse pad if you have lower sensitivity. So play style, sensitivity, and game of choice. And also if it has a lot of verticality. All right, now the first thing you want to do to find your arm position is you want to find a position with your elbow where you can rub your mouse pad and also keep this pivot point the same. So if, if I'm moving to the left, it's not you know changing like this. And if I'm moving to the right, the, the arm isn't moving like this, right? So find a position here, it's like this. It could be your entire elbow on the pad, right? Like this with your full forearm. And I did play my best like this, where my entire arm was on the table from elbow to fingers. And this gave me the best range of motion, but I had to stop playing after like six months because it, one, you're leaning on your arm and that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder. But two, it also kind of torques your shoulder position out. So be very careful with this, but there's a lot of pro players that play like this because you have full contact with your forearm and your elbow and gives you this really wide range of motion. A lot of gamers are typically where they have their elbow just barely off the table, but they have still that full support and full contact with the table like this. Some people have their elbow flared away from their body like this, and that allows them to get the motion. Some people like it tucked in like this, and there's kind of trade-offs to those, and that's going to depend on you to figure out where that is, right? So again, the elbow position is critical, how close and far how high or low, and then if it's close or far from your body. That's all going to determine that pivot point, so you can kind of bend this elbow and then use that full arm position, all right? So the first drill that I want you to do while you're kind of figuring out what your best position is, is you want to keep a very stiff wrist. So keep this wrist locked. You don't want any wrist movement, and then practice aiming. So I'm keeping a stiff wrist, and it's going to be very difficult to be super accurate. And it's going to be a little bit difficult at first because you're not going to have any micro motion correcting with your wrist. But this is going to give you a good idea of where your arm is relative to the left or right. And if it feels weird, right? So like I said, if you're moving around the mouse pad and your shoulder wants to move, this pivot point wants to move, that's ideally not the best position. But there are trade-offs and you can still play with not utilizing your full mouse pad. So for example, some people like to play with the very neutral position, and this is generally where I like to be. But when I move to the right, my shoulder kind of pops out here, like I mentioned before. So that's the trade-off I have. But what's nice about this neutral position is that it's very easy to repeat, and it's also very good for vertical motion. So as you can see here, I have this straight line, 12 to 6 o'clock with my elbow, and it's easy to aim vertical Whereas if my arm is rotated like this, as I move, you know, you might get a little bit of weird rotation when you're aiming vertically, right? So there's trade-offs. And also this 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock for me is easy to repeat. And it feels neutral. But there's a lot of great gamers that play with rotation. 
it's actually a little bit more natural for your forearm to be like this instead of be like this. And like I said, I did play my best in this position, but it kind of hurt my shoulder. So like I said, be careful with that position. All right, so let's experiment with the different elbow positions and kind of talk through the pros and benefits and what I feel personally with my anatomy. So if my elbow is flared out like this, it's very disconnected from my chest and body. It does give me this wide range of motion. So as I aim through, I can keep my mouse flat. I can use the full corners left and right side, and I can still keep that pivot point with my uh, forearm touching that table's edge. So this one's great. If you have super low sensitivity, you just need that. You can do 180s super easy like this. If my elbow is tucked behind me, so you can still be an arm aimer and not have your full forearm on the table. So if you have your elbow tucked behind, you can still pivot off that elbow point. I know it's off camera, but my elbow is in place. It's not moving and I'm just pivoting off that left and right elbow. So I'm just pivoting off that elbow to aim left and right and still using my entire forearm to get this full range of motion. All right, so to recap, this elbow position is key. If you have it close or far away from your body, if it's forward or backwards, if it's high or low, you know, from the table. And ideally you want that pivot point to stay the same like this. You don't want it shifting like this across the mouse pad. That just means you're just kind of torquing your shoulder and that's not going to be the ideal position. You want to keep that pivot point the same and then practice using the stiff wrist. So we're not going to be micro correcting with our wrists. We're keeping a straight line. It's going to feel very stiff with your wrists, and you're just kind of like doing like a karate chop almost. And that's really going to help you establish where you need to put that elbow. So this is where your personal feel and your experimenting and your tinkering and your hand-eye coordination needs to be to adjust that elbow, maybe even just an inch or two. Maybe you need to raise or lower your chair or your table. Maybe you need to sit a little bit closer. Maybe you need to change your posture. All these things affect your elbow position. All right, well, hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Give it a thumbs up if it was and subscribe to stay up to date.